Rats. 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 <laughs> See? You know, Rats. that was spelled wrong. That's where you're going to say well, it wrong. Well, right. I'm just going to check it. E. R U E E D, right? Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Druts. Thank you. I always do that. You ready? Okay. I'm going to call the meeting to order February 10th of the Park and Recreation Commission. Um, and I'm going to do roll call, but first I want to welcome Commissioner David Drutz. Thank you. To our welcome. commission. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're very happy you're here. So we're going to do roll call. Um, Marmion present. Bull Bull Jimenez present. Fryer present. Bolagoth present. Lenz present. Oh. Cavino present. No. And Drutz present. Okay. <laughs> All commissioners present. Thank you. Uh, can I go to the adoption of the agenda? Are there any deletions, additions, or changes? I move that we adopt the agenda as presented. I second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Approval of minutes of January 13th. I move to approve the January 13th minutes. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Citizen communications. Don't have any. Um, old business, none. New business, budget overview process. And we all have attachments here, and I'm going to turn it over to Noreen, who's going to give us a brief rundown. So I'm not going to delve into the nitty gritty details of the budget right now. Um, the idea for tonight was to kind of introduce the budget to those of you who may not have seen it before, give you an opportunity to dissect the information. We're going to come back to the March meeting when Stuart can be present and um, speak to some of the specifics a little bit further. Um, so for now, what we would like you to do is to kind of take a look at the budget, look at the various programs and how we have it sectioned out under Parks and Recreation. Um, right now, we have it divvied up between Recreation Administration, Parks and Facility Operations, Youth Activities, Adult Activities, Senior Citizens Activities, Special Events and Communication, Teen Activities, and Aquatics. And so for each respective section, there's uh, some narrative, a program description, as well as all of the financial information. Um, and it does give some information to compare to uh, previous fiscal year as well. So. Um, between now and March, if each of you could individually take a look at that, um, maybe assess what types of changes, modifications, adjustments, additions, subtractions you may propose, and we'll reconvene as a, as a commission in March and talk about some of those things. So just to keep in mind that you, you as a Parks and Recreation Commission, do serve as an advisory capacity in terms of our um, budget for our department. So. Um, if you have questions that come up in the meantime, um, feel free to send them my way or connect with Stuart, um, but we're going to bring it back in March and we're going to talk about some of the specifics a little bit further and um, any suggestions that you might have for the next fiscal year budget. I will add that we, uh, as a city, are going to a new budget process that's a priority-based budget. And so City Council has started the process a little bit with some goal setting, and we're going to tie that into our process when we, when we do begin the rollout. Um, the priority-based budget um, is a two-year budget, and so that will be coming down the pipeline. That'll be something different than what we've done in the past. So we're going to be forecasting for the next two fiscal years versus just one year. Mm -hmm. um, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about, you know, things that pertain to parks and recreation and what times, types of changes we want to implement for the next couple of years going forward. Okay. Okay. Does any commissioners have any questions? Yeah, I was okay. wondering, Noreen, if you could speak a little bit to about, about the timeline of the budget process because we really do have to kind of get our heads around uh, any things that we want in the budget in a fairly short, fairly short order. Do you want to speak a little bit about? Sure. It is a bit of a tight timeline, and that's why I want to give you guys the next month to really review and dissect and then come back with some of your, your own ideas, and we can talk as a commission about how we want to move things forward and whether or not we, we want to wait on certain things or how, how important um, things are and which, which way we want to prioritize. So I think the first parts of the process will be to take a look at the council's goals and what, how we're going to divvy 
we're, we're looking as a staff right now on how we want to revise the programs and how the budget is broken up. So that's something we're working on internally. Um, so we want to look at aligning our programs to the, the performance measures and the budget measures that City Council is establishing. Um, first and beyond that, we'll take a look at the master fee schedule, see if there's any revisions we want to submit as part of the fee structure and then um, go forward from there. So I think ideally Stuart would like to have everything kind of wrapped up in a nice little package by April, um, which gives him a little bit of time before the end of this fiscal year, which is June 30th, because um, it will take some time to get the uh, stamp of approval from city council. So we have the next couple months to work with. And uh, through the chair, I had one further question. Uh, is there sort of an established wish list that that uh, is out there? Uh, I know, for example, that in last year's uh, budget process, there was, uh, for example, an item for new chairs for Mission Blue Center, which was then uh, taken out of the budget and not passed. Mm -hmm. Do we have sort of a set of things like that 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 we should be aware of? I mean, if, if this is a pretty short timeline to get right. our heads around it, uh, rather than reinventing the wheel, d does, does the... Um, does your department have some things already sort of for us to consider? To an extent, we do, yes. I was not here last year for the budget cycle, um, but I know that there are things like chairs and um, other equipment that was requested and denied in the past, and we went to council and asked for more money last year for the Day in the Park event, and so things like that, I think um, we do have some type of catalog of, and we'll make sure that we bring that um, to your attention so that... Chairs for the community center, too. Right. There, there I think was it was Mission Blue and the Community, community Center. Center. They're really bad. Yeah, they're very old. Yeah, so um, we can, if it's helpful, we can distribute that list that we have to you guys in a, in the next couple of weeks, so that it can be part of the conversation in March. So let me see if I understand this right. Um, we're going to have one meeting in March that you said Stuart kind of wants to wrap this up in April, or to go. I think by the end of April, he would like to have our wish list. Um, prepared so that he can say here's what we're submitting for our department budget okay but we're supposed to be able to go through this in one meeting in March right be between now and March we would like you guys to review the budget and have a yeah. wish list <laughs> yeah um, and that includes our priority we have a, a priority. wish list already mm -hmm. So we should review that probably. Yeah, w and w we can send you what we have already. Yeah. 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 But I, I don't know. I just find we only have one meeting in March. Well, we could do April. Too. Well, March and April. April. Well, okay. If it's the end yeah. of April, we have the first meeting in April. Mm -hmm. So we would have yeah. two meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we should go over our um, priority list, which is kind of like our capital improvement mm -hmm. wish list, right? right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. revisit that. I think we had maybe 10 to 14 items on that list. So we can look at that because we need to, as a commission, um, identify what is our, what's the order of our, yeah. our wish list, right? right. We want to keep it the same. And so that's kind of right. the first part of it, yeah. right? And then right. we yeah. will take a look at the budget and ask questions and see how uh, funds yeah. are allocated to various programs right. compared to last year. Correct. So. Okay. And it may be helpful um, if there's specific things to meet in a, at a subcommittee level mm -hmm. um, and then to yeah. bring that back to the next commission meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any questions or concerns since you knew coming in? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. You'll know. <laughs> okay. Um, anyone else? Mm. Okay. Okay, then. Well, thank you, Noreen. Okay, we'll move on to goal setting meeting summarization and setting a date so we just kind of touched on it briefly in previous mm -hmm. meetings that there was some desire to have a goal setting meeting mm -hmm. um, with the Commission to establish a little bit of a roadmap for going forward what do we want to achieve as a Commission how do we want to align our goals and our mission with what City Council is doing do we want to develop some strategic initiatives around their their council goals essentially how does that trickle down to recreation and so we thought that having uh, some form of goal setting meeting outside of our regularly scheduled Commission meetings could be helpful in order yeah. to achieve that and it probably would help us with this budget too <laughs> right yeah um, 
So this was just really kind of mm -hmm. to start the dialogue amongst, amongst each of you as to your availability um, and whether or not we could feasibly get something scheduled within the next month or... Well, I know in the past so. we've either done it on a Saturday or a Sunday. Right. And we've done it in the past. We've done it here at City Hall. We've done it at the marina. Mm -hmm. Last uh, year, it was right after I started, we did it on a Friday afternoon. Oh, oh we yeah, did that's Friday Because right. I remember I left mm -hmm. and came back for it. Yeah, okay. so... How about people that work? Then? And we did it here. Yeah. Well, we get off at 1 on Friday, but a lot of other people are going to be working. So whatever works for you guys. But yeah. what's okay. what's the consensus? It here? makes no difference to me. It, it might be helpful to just go down the line yeah. and, and eliminate any potential days or weekends mm -hmm. that are just completely out for people. And then uh, Trisha can Andrew. work with <laughs> the commission to schedule something. <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about March? I think it would be helpful. The sooner the Since better. Since we're talking about the budget. Yeah, <laughs> okay. The um, Let's see. Okay. Well, um, uh, let's see. When's our next meeting? March 9th. March 9th, okay. So probably we're talking about just weekends, right? Because yeah. people work. Yeah. <coughs> How are, how's everybody uh, for a weekend? A Saturday or Sunday? It's during the week. Generally, that works for me. Works for you. How about you, Lyle? Not typically during the day on a weekend, no. Um, so I'm just checking yeah. the calendar because I, I do have a lot of activities I do on weekends. Yeah. So, I'll, uh, but if we're planning for March, that's what I'm looking up right now. My calendar was available okay. for March. Okay. Okay. What about you, David? It varies based on my daughter's schedule, but okay. activities. But if I know far enough in advance, we, my wife will cover. So. Okay. Or a Friday afternoon. I, you know, I they work with enough notice mm -hmm. at times, you know, so <coughs> set up work for a couple hours. So I'd, I'd be willing to check into that. Okay. Is that something we want to do here now while we're all assembled, as opposed to? I mean, is it doesn't it become complicated for you, mm -hmm. <coughs> for you in the office when mm -hmm. the emails kind of go back and forth and back and yeah. forth and back yeah. and forth? Yeah, yeah. If we can get there tonight, that would be yeah, yeah. beneficial. So Friday afternoon, okay for everybody. Or Friday afternoon would actually be good because Rhea is um, Castle Park canvassing on the weekends. Okay. Well, I just know we go to spring break, oh, yeah, starting about the 24th of March. So we, I think we get out early. That's the guys. Um, Do you work? Or? Well, I work. Yeah. Um, Fridays are typically a pretty crazy day. I mean, yeah. I, ideally, I could probably get out 3.30ish. Okay. Yeah, I could make some, I could make other arrangements if I have, I'd have enough notice. For Friday afternoons. What about you, Teresa? I, I could probably do like get out at five thirty and finish by I mean at three thirty and finish by <coughs> What about you, Lyle? I could do three thirty on a Friday, sure. So like a four okay, let's do four o'clock on a Friday. Friday. Friday, and, and Friday at four. Okay. And do yep. we want to try to do this before the next uh, uh, commission meeting, keeping in mind that that some of the stuff that we discussed there would be helpful in our forming mm -hmm. ideas and opinions about what needs to go into the budget, mm -hmm. if it's possible. To so March 4th? 4th mm -hmm. works for me. 3.30? Mm -hmm. uh, she said 4th. No, March 4th I cannot do it. Well, that <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> after all that. <laughs> sorry about that. Wait, wait, no, hang on a minute. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm misreading my... Uh, March 4th? March 4th. Does yeah, that work for... March 4th, yes. Lyle, no, it doesn't work for Lyle. Oh, it doesn't work for Lyle. I'll be out of the country. February 26th. Out of the country. Mm. I'll be out of the country from, from February 21st through March 4th. <sighs> How about March 11th? That's a Thursday. No. It's Friday. Sorry, my bad. 11th. That's okay. after the next commission meeting. Oh, it is? Yeah. We have, it may be that's the only way we could do it, though. Well, maybe we might have to move our commission meeting to the 16th. <laughs> is anything happening on the 16th? What about, um, what about the 19th of February? Oh. Next Friday. Um, oh, uh, I, I will have a conflict. Could we try another day other than Friday? Good. And, and, and Saturdays are out 
universally out, right? David, you, David largely very difficult. Very, it just depends very, very on. Difficult yeah, and the no, difficult for Lyle either. <coughs> okay. March 11th. Do Thursdays work for anybody? I can make Thursdays work. How about February 25th? I'm out of town that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, and Lyle's out of town. I'm, I'm, out I'm out sorry. Of yeah, 21st. Through the, through the 4th. Yes, yes. Really have to be before the meeting. I mean, I know we want it to be, but no, we can't. That, that would be optimal, but maybe that's not practical. What about March 18th, which is a Friday? I don't know if yeah. we're still looking at Fridays. Uh, 18th yeah. work for everyone, depending on the time. Uh, no, wait. I'm sorry, not for me. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get seven people. It is. I guess. Did we rule out the 11th already? Uh huh. March 11th. It was a no. But March 25th. Yeah, what, what happened with March 11th? You said no, Kevin? I think. Uh, March nope. 11th. That was a no for some of the members. Is, uh, is a yes for me. I can do it on the 11th. Was it a no for you, Lyle? No, uh, 11th is fine for me. 11th? 11th? Yeah. March 11th? That's a Friday? Yes. Did we not this, this talk about that one before? Well, I think we did. Oh, because it was it's after. It was after the meeting. Oh, uh, what's your name? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Me. yeah. Well, maybe we could move our Park and Rec Commission to the 16th. But sometimes they have the we other can't meetings. We can't, though. Because okay. okay. there's other meetings. Okay. Well, just thought. But, I mean, th it'll be just be two days apart, so. Okay. And the budget will be fresh on our mind when right. we get to the exactly right. Okay, okay. exactly. We have done some of the pre-work, right? <laughs> and it's at three thirty. Four. 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 Four o'clock on March eleventh. Do you guys have any preference whether it's here or we go off-site somewhere? We did it here. Last Let's time. just do it here. Okay. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Okay. This room. Yeah. Right. Or. We can get the we'll conference room. Good. We did it here last yeah. year. We, yeah. did, we did it right here. It out nicely. Yeah. <coughs> about two hours or eight minutes? Three I think three plan for at least two. At least yeah. two. I think it'll move pretty easily. As long as it takes. Okay. We can do some sort of pre work. Mm -hmm. We can do some sort of pre work on it and yeah. with some. Brainstorming first, and then okay. get some of that worked out already. Yeah, I know how that would look, but absolutely. Okay, I got that. Cut that down a bit. March eleventh. Okay. 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 Good. That was an accomplishment. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> okay, and we're going to start assigning um, subcommittees. Everybody's got their list here, and. We're going to change some up, add some commissioners. So I think I'm going to ask David, is there anything on here that you would like to be a part of? Or do you want to ask questions? Bef before we start, okay, um, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, Kevin and I had a conversation about whether or not some of the subcommittees could or should be consolidated, or if it makes sense oh. to leave them all as they are. So before we jump into okay. assigning people, it might be good to have that conversation okay. first if if we want to consolidate or merge any. Yeah. What would you consolidate? Well, through the chair, would it be helpful just, just for for us to go through and, and summarize what each one is? Most of them I know, but I know for David, mm -hmm. that he's not going to, you know, he's not going to really know necessarily what each and every one of these involves. And uh, then also in that summarization, we might see which ones could maybe be consolidated. Something okay. Higher? Well, some of them I'll tell you, kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, the I'm Brisbane, well familiar with yeah, that. the Brisbane Derby, yeah. and um, kind of the Brisbane Derby and the Day in the Park kind of go together. Right. Mm -hmm. So, should we consult? Yeah, I, think, I mean, for, for me, the one thing that I have a, a question is use of 280 South Bell sale proceeds. Mm. Okay. Um, of what? The last one, use of 280 oh. South Hill. There was yeah. a parcel <coughs> of property, and they sold, sold it, and the funds are, um, there's a subcommittee 
performing, and I think it's the. Um, it was Jamie? It was Jamie. Yeah, it was Jamie, but, but it, I don't know where they are with that. Yeah, yeah and it's and yeah, yeah. Um, the so park and rec and open space and ecology. They kind of group together to see what they want to do with the proceeds with that money. Do you want to do um, buy open space? Do you want to have a? We would like to have a. Oh, we're favoring a, a master trails plan. Just what are we going to do with that money? And that's what that meeting was about. But it's open. The um, commissioner Dunn was on that, and we had an alternate. So, do you have any other questions? No, I mean, I, I, from my own experience in Brisbane, Derby concerts, yeah. Park, Daisy Park, mm -hmm. Festival of Lights, Habitat Restoration Day, these are all things that we're fairly actively involved in. Mm -hmm. So, those I'm well familiar with. But as the rookie here, I'm more than willing to basically mm -hmm. go wherever you want to point me. As okay. Well. well, sometimes I just kind of ask, you know, you come on here, you have a passion. Mm -hmm. um, so, I kind of. Um, Opening it up, is there anything here that you would? I would just say concerts in the park, day in the park, events, festival of lights, habitat restoration, marina. Okay. Recreational facilities, recreation program. Oh, okay. You got a list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you great. Go one at a time, and then. Okay. Well, I'm willing to move around a little bit too. Oh uh, yeah, I am too. On, so. Um, like I said, I think the Brisbane Derby and Day in the Park, they run I think it makes sense side by side. Mm -hmm. And um, since I'm already on Day in the Park and I'm on the Brisbane Derby, I'd be glad to give up the Derby. If you would That's fine. Yeah. undertake I'll take that. the Derby. What's his name again? Drutz, D R U T Z. You're giving it up? Why don't you both do it together? Well, I'm already on the day in the park, so. Yeah, but you do, you well, and I, Derby, yeah. you understand Derby. I think you should stay on it with. Well, I don't want to be on the Derby. I'd okay. like to give it up. Okay. Yes? The question I would like to ask then is, that would make four people, mm -hmm. and can we have four people? No. 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 can't. So someone has to come off the day. So of someone has to come off of, of that, if we're going to consolidate it. Oh, okay. consolidate is what? Der Derby and day in the park. Oh. Make that just one subcommittee that if you make okay. it one okay. day the whole day. Okay. <coughs> Would you want to stay on day in the park? Uh, you know what? I'll give it up. Give up what? I'll give up Brisbane Derby and day in the park if you take that okay. Derby. Okay? I'll remove myself. Well, I've done it a couple times. It's maybe give new blood. I'll still give you input. <laughs> yeah, you will. I'll give you input. And your tiara. My girl. And your My tiara. tiara. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're combining those two. Okay. Events only has one person to. Well, we're now concerts in the park. Oh, concerts. Um, that's still, I think, uh, you by that? itself. So. Yeah, I, I had some interest in uh, in getting on the Concerts in the Park subcommittee if there is space uh, available. Well, there's three people, so. And uh, David, okay. you also s expressed some interest in that as well. Who, me? Well, David. Oh, David. Did you express interest? In yes, but if you're the third, and I'm, okay. again, I'm more than happy to work my way up the ladder, so. Okay. So, Fryer, you're on there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, now events. I forgot what's covered in events. May I ask what it is events? Yeah, Teresa. Because we have the <laughs> events basically um, later. I, you know, we, I, in a year, we never had one meeting on subcommittee meetings. So I, one mm. really I think the only thing we've had most recently on events was the um, fire hydrant. Oh, mm. that's so, probably. yeah. That would need somebody would need to be on that as well because Madison's not here anymore. So mm -hmm. Teresa's by. I think that's the only one that I can think Teresa's of. Teresa's by herself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, is anybody? Um, Lyle, anything? No. I have plenty of to do. Okay. Okay. You're happy with everything you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's what I just want to see. We okay. Change events to to fire. <laughs> what is that called? Fire plug. Day or something? Do you want to just change it specifically to that? 
instead of calling it events. Are there, are there well, events you're going to call it? in case anything else comes up, though, I don't know. I don't know. Do we want to do any well, other type of events? Else coming up, we could not Add it. Yep. Anyone. I mean, uh, have yeah. Yeah. So you want to call that fire hydrants? Fire hydrants. But your what? Or leave it open at this point. Have that be other events. Miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. That's what I. Miscellaneous think. events. Mm -hmm. Fire hydrants and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Is that what we're going to call it? Okay, I'll. If you need someone on there, I'll I'll go on there with okay. you, Teresa. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, it was Jamie and Madison. Madison. Are we calling? What are we calling it then? Events. Events. Just leaving Just it as events. events. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we have Festival of Lights, and we have Bull Golf. Um, anybody else want to go on Festival of Lights? Okay, I'll come on with okay, you. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're always there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, fundraising. We have no we, one there. Take that one off. Yeah, let's, we haven't really done anything. Take it out. Um, Habitat Restoration Day. We could take another person on that one, too. Anybody interested? Okay. Great. Who was that? Drutz. Oh. Marina. I'm ha I'm happy staying on Marina. And There's three I, of you on there. And I don't yeah. mind stepping down if someone really wants to take that on. If they're interested. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're s same people. Lance, I, Mommy, and Cavino. What is part of Parks and Recreation? They were more saying it was more of a preparation around itself and that maybe it wouldn't be a perfect step, but do you? Oh, you guys are talking to the microphone. Oh, I'm so Keep sorry. Keep the microphones on. Is it, is it even on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I thought I recalled, and I'm thinking it was Stuart, but I don't, that perhaps that was a subcommittee we didn't need anymore. Well, because Public Works has been taking it over. Yeah, we really don't have very much to do with it. It's it's under Public Works. So, yeah, but when they are going to put out that um, Kayaks or kayak launch, possibly, Public Works, Works wouldn't do that. that maybe, maybe, happen. maybe if the, in that case, then Recreation Facilities meets to discuss that instead of having a separate marina committee. Okay. Subcommittee. It, it's entirely up to you guys. You think they're ever going to do the Sierra Point build out there? Because there was that one parcel and we wanted to make that passive Someday. park. Someday. There was do you one think park there. What do you think? Eliminate it? I think eliminate the marina. I think eliminate it. Okay. Well, well and I, I agree with what she said. If you do recreational facilities, it's. But in the it would be the same people just adding Karen to it, so you guys could just do it on that instead. Okay. Oh, you want to do that, Karen? I'll join you on that one. Facilities, okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, public art. That's full. Um. I, I know that this is Kevin Fryer's baby, <laughs> and I have offered to step down to make room for Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, we'll miss and, you. And I really appreciate that. Um, and I would indeed like to, to ba go back on to public arts. But you know you could still give them your input. <laughs> <laughs> and show up at town meetings and sit on the side. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, great. And then uh, seniors. About recreation programs. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh, recreational programs. 
you know, yes, we need uh, two more people. Two more people. What exactly does does that subcommittee do, and how often has it met, and what's the what's the backlog for it? I'm I'm sorry, what? Yeah, what does it, it do exactly? It, um, well, it kind of oversees our recreational programs, the after school program, all our programs that we're doing. I, is that um, something that that is that we don't do at large? That that I mean, I'm, I'm just not. Mm -hmm. But Lyle, you're on that yeah. subcommittee. What's the history of it? Has it met? It, ha is not, it has not met. It has it's not met. met. I was on it for a while, and what we did is we looked at the um, the mix of programs to see if there's a good mix between, say, teen programming, what's the balance between teen and adult and senior. We looked at the, the, the array of offerings to see if it seemed like it was covering what we needed to cover for the community. So we did a little bit of that. We've done a little bit of that as a group, too. Um, but that's what we were looking at before on the subcommittee. We're just kind of looking generally at the programs to make sure that we had all of the different um, different groups covered, demographics covered. How often is the AOT? Well, I, How think, often? I think when I was on it, we met twice in a year. It wasn't that okay. much. Yeah, and, and Lyle said they haven't met at all. So I'm if we're looking at the budget, mm -hmm. The programs, as we look through the budget and looking, thinking about the programs, do we have the right allocation of funds? Do we have the right kind of programs? We might offer something back from the program perspective from subcommittee. Do we have the right mix, as Karen mentioned? Are we meeting all of the community needs? Are we meeting our mission? Mm -hmm. Are we we never met last year, but um, mm -hmm. there, there could be call to do that this year between now, you know, and budget time. Mm -hmm. So you need a couple of more people. I'll go on it. <coughs> I will as well. Okay. Okay, recreational facilities, that's done. Filled. Seniors, that's Bonnie and I. We, we haven't met yet. We gotta no, meet. Gotta meet. <laughs> I was uh, interested in getting on the seniors. Okay, okay. great. So let me just interrupt really quick because you just said that I was going to wait till later. We did have a meeting set up for February 17th. Are you guys still on for that meeting? For what? For seniors. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. When did we make that meeting? When we made all those other meetings and I kept it on just okay. in case because, you know, we got rid of all the other ones. So. Okay. February 17th. February what time? 17th. <laughs> I didn't bring the time. Um, my know. bad. Um, but if you guys want to just do another day, we don't have oh, to. That's do it fine. I can do it after you, four. I actually can't do the seventeenth, unfortunately. I'm not okay. I'm just so let's let's. <laughs> I'll get a hold of you guys. <laughs> we'll we'll reschedule that. Okay, reschedule it. Yeah. <laughs> my apologies. No problem. Okay, skate park. Um, well, that's, that's kind of that's kind of done. Along. Mm -hmm. So I think we can eliminate skate park. I think so too. Okay. I'm happy to say. We yes, it it's off. it's <laughs> we completed one thing off this whole list. <laughs> and teen services. You only have one person. Yeah. I'd love to be in it, but I can't be because of school board. Yeah. Um, what are we doing with teen services? We really didn't meet very much. Um, we just we talked about uh, trying to get more members from the teen community. Um, they did a prior to my coming. They did a, an outreach for Yak, and I think we're yeah. told they had one person yeah. respond. Mm -hmm. um, so we were really just kind of strategizing, you know, um, a few ideas to get more teen involvement, mm -hmm. and um, it really didn't go very far last year. But I'm really hopeful that we. That we uh we do mm -hmm. some fun things this year. Okay, well since I'm at the middle school, yeah, oh I can't do it. That's oh. a conflict because I do the after school program. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I know. Oh. Nobody else. Mm -mm. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Be honest. Yeah, so. Do you, 
Do you want it? Okay. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> David. Okay, trails development. I'm staying. Staying. I can. I can okay. I'm happy to stay. I'm happy okay. to move if someone wants wants to okay. jump in. Oh, that's it. Okay, everybody staying. Um, trails master plan. Only one person on that one. Do you think? You well, trails it? development and trails master plan. Good. Yeah. Be together. Be together. Trails, Trails Master Plan is just an individual assignment that Lyle is part of a oh, larger that's right. city right. team. That's right. That's right. So, mm -hmm. Sorry. I thought about that after right when you were saying it. Okay. It's a and special subcommittee. Yes, team. special. Yes. And it won't last very long either. And then, well, you know, as soon as you, it, you know what I'm saying. It, I do. It's like the skate park. You'll get it going and then you'll finish it. It won't take 13 years. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that, it might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the use of 280 South Hill. Um, yes? Yeah, so that has nobody on it. If nobody really wants it, I would okay. be happy to do that. Okay, and I think that was another thing where we needed one person, and we wanted an alternate. I was the alternate the last time. So, do you need to have an alternate again? Is, are you volunteering? Yeah. He's I'm volunteering for, yes. Yeah. We don't even really know what's going on with that right now, but we'll put your name on there. Okay. I, I'll find out from Stuart what, because yeah. I don't know if there were anything was ever really... It, this is this is if I understand it correctly. This is about uh, proceeds from a sale of a small uh, uh, mm -hmm. bit of land up by the bakery or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And how is the city uh, going to spend that? Mm -hmm. And it's a conversation between Parks and Rec. So I would be the representative of Parks and Rec in our interest Rec. with the open space. Yeah. Open space. And is there somebody else? I think it was just open. Open space. space yeah. Open space. And. And so then we would would come up with some recommendation that would then go to the city council, and the mm -hmm. city council would correct. Yes. Decide. Okay. It seems to take care of everything. Did you get all that? You got them all. Everybody, and then she'll get us a new printout, David, for next week. Great. Cool. Thank you, everybody, yeah. for stepping up. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay, reports. Um, I have. I'm trying to think of any. Nope, I have nothing to report at this time. Thank you. Subcommittees. Is there a subcommittee meeting reports? Karen, you want to report on? <laughs> I'm just looking at the dates real fast. We just walked out of the meeting for um, the Habitat Restoration Day. And we are looking at April 23rd, which is a Saturday, to work on, um, oh, I'm too far away. Here, can you do this? This is a very awkward position. Okay. So um, on the 23rd, we're looking at um, doing a project up at the Ridge, which will be, as you're going up toward Mission Blue on, I believe it's called Monarch, it's to the right of that. There's a space there. And um, it needs a lot of work, and it's, I guess, an important butterfly transit habitat up to Clippy. So we're hoping to get um, involvement from people who live on the ridge and, and, get, and getting the homeowners associations involved. And then the next one, I believe that's Earth Day, and that's April. And then July, we're looking at the 23rd, and that's also a Saturday. And that project will most likely be um, Sierra Point Canyon, has a lot of work that needs to be done, a lot of clearing out that needs to be done there. And possibly Firth. Firth, and we might be able to get some um, money to have some major work done, hire contractors and such. But if we don't, if, if the city isn't able to have that done, then we'll do that as a volunteer project on the 23rd. May I ask, what all needs to be done at Firth? The canyon. Oh, the it's canyon. not the park, it's the canyon. Mm -hmm. So that's it for that one. Anything else? Okay. 
September is a lagoon cleanup. I don't know what the date is on that, but that's another thing that's coming up. That's it for that subcommittee. Too many, yeah, too many of them, right? Kind of took a month off. Did I? Mm -hmm. We didn't meet, and you met Lyle. So the the, the master command master plan um, committee met on the twenty seventh of January. Um, myself was representing the, the the park commission. There was a gentleman representing open space and ecology, as well as the mayor was there, and then the consultants were there. Um, we went we went over. Um, we looked at the map um, of kind of Brisbane. And then we had individuals from the community um, kind of say, where, the, where are some trails? You know, we talked about our, each of our interests. So from my perspective, from the commission side, making sure that we did have a map of trails, that we did advertise that this is a, a community involvement and, and way to get out in the community and get out and, 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 and recreate in parks with the bike paths and trails. Um, also talked about you know, trail improvements, um, lights along some trails railings, um, also accessibility of some trails, making sure they're accessible for all people in the community, um, not just those that are mobile by two feet, but to those who need some type of, of, of assistance getting around, kind of keeping those things in mind in the master plan, you know, as we think about connecting Brisbane, and then also talked about using Brisbane as a connector between the city and down to the peninsula, There's a lot of the commuters and bicyclists that come through the city, how we can better um, help them along their journey and getting people from Brisbane north and south with most people that travel south. Um, so that was a preliminary meeting, the very first one, looked at a map, and then there's more meetings scheduled to finalize plans and things like that. So. Nice. Sounds like it was a good, good meeting. Does this, oh. Is this um, trails primarily, does this also cover bike paths? Yes, it's bike, bike. well. Yes. Okay, so pedestrian routes, um, bicycle routes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. And then there was also discussions about um, right of way, what what the city own, what city didn't own, uh, the involvement potentially of the private landholders of being able to access the San Bruno Mountains, how people might get there. Um, also making sure that you know access and right of ways are are being looked after, um, and then also that we don't approach encroach. E sorry, encroach on private property at times, because some people have made their own trails. Mm -hmm. right. Lots of people know of trails, but they're not trails per se, and so we don't necessarily want to highlight or, or map those out. We want to make sure that we truly can designate those uh, yeah. trails that really are available to us as pub the public. Good. Very good. Um, was there any other subcommittees that met? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and so now we're going to set subcommittee meetings. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Should I go down the list again? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Brisbane Derby and Day in the Park. We should probably meet. We had one meeting, we should meet again. So is the purpose to set regular meetings so we don't have to keep setting meetings? Gonna set standing meetings that we could cancel if necessary, but is that what we're yep. looking for? Yep, we could if that's what you'd like. It just would save a lot of time. time. Okay. 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 So, Bris I'm just gonna go down the list again. Brisbane Derby and Day in the Park. Makes no difference to me. Well, you guys. Uh, Whoever is on there with me? Well, it's, I took myself, so it's Bogoff uh, and um, Teresa Jimenez. So. I'm, I'm good with taking six o'clock and yeah. 5.30. Let me know. Yeah, I mean, the earliest I can really reasonably be here is 6.30, so. 6.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if that's the case, is there I'm in this really odd in-between place. Know, For some reason, it seems so far to either microphone. Ah. <laughs> like, go like this. That's Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so. 
since I know I know Renee a little better, and I will get to know David better, but right now I think I'll lean really close to Renee. <laughs> so, so um, my question about now I've lost my train of thought. Um, oh, I know. Is there a, when we're looking at times, we also have to be sensitive to staff, right? Because Noreen um, is uh, has little ones to get to, and so. And we just need to make sure that the, those days work for staff as well. Yeah. So let me just make one quick comment with you listening. So we have new staff coming on. Mm -hmm. Should we wait till the new staff is here so we know who the staff are going to be? We don't care at this point? No. Okay. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make okay. Okay. So don't, I guess, don't be so concerned about staff then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, the yeah, one I thing that I was just <laughs> thinking too with the Brisbane Dirty Sets, we combined them, and you're going to need to have a couple more meetings. Maybe you want to set up, like you said, set them up down the line. Maybe set up the next three. Well, I'm just, you know, maybe set up one now, you set one up in May, you set one up in July. Uh, just just a thought, you know. So, David, did you say that you're not available until 6.30 in the evening? Yeah, I okay. leave my office typically at no, no earlier than 5.30, and getting from downtown to here, it's unpredictable, so. Yeah. So whenever. 6.30 works for me. I'm okay. Yeah. Pick a date, I don't care. From a staff perspective, most of us work till 8 every Wednesday anyways, so if mm. we could schedule subcommittee meetings on Wednesdays when we don't have commission, that would be ideal, but otherwise we we are happy to make it It could work. be a Wednesday. I have no problems with that. I have ceramics class on Wednesday oh. nights. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesdays work well for me, so that's fairly easy. You want to just pick a random Tuesday. But that means someone has to be here. But you know what you could do? Maybe you could pick the first, this first meeting, and then in your subcommittee, make your other meetings then so we don't take over time. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. So you said Tuesdays are good? I don't have a calendar. Okay. Yeah, not everyone needs to meet right now. Yeah. Well, I just didn't want, and then she'd be calling them mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah. So, okay. do you have a calendar, Teresa? Yes, I'm looking at it now. So, how soon did we want to do this? Before the next meeting, probably. That's so March 9th. Um, <laughs> March 8th. <laughs> No problem. That's fine. March 1st. Okay. okay, March 1st. Okay. Okay, do you have to meet for um, concerts in the park? We probably should. Yeah. We've only had one meeting. Okay. What's good for you, Kevin? Um, I'm usually good from four on, uh, on most days. Um, but Teresa, you were on this as well. What, what, uh, what's your time limitations work-wise? Um, I I work till five, and I could and I'd be here by five thirty. Just um, have to pick a day. But not on Wednesdays. Yeah, I don't really like Wednesdays. Other than ceramics class. You know, if I'm doing a six thirty here, if we met at five thirty on three one or. That would work. Too. Like an hour before. Yeah, and staff time. Could you do that, Kevin? 5.30 on Tuesday the 1st. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, perfect. And then, like I said, just schedule your other times at, within that subcommittee then. Well, time to think about the schedule. Okay, I don't think we need to do events, do we? Mm -hmm. As of yet? No. No. Teresa? Um, do you want to start meeting for Festival of Lights? Or do I it? think it's a little early. Okay. Um, let's just put it on the calendar for maybe April, just to touch it, because it is our big 30th. 
April. So let's just open it for April, and we'll talk later. Okay. Okay. And Habitat. I don't know if we have to meet, meet again. But Tricia would let us know because we that's a joint meeting. Okay. I don't know if we have to meet again. You'll let us know because it's joint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, public art. Mm. Uh, yes, we should. We need to meet. Yes, we should meet. <coughs> Absolutely. Um, and again, I'm. It's easy for me. Four o'clock ish most days during okay. the week. Okay. Uh, Karen, how is that? You can meet at four, right? Generally, every Gen day is different, but um, for me, but yeah, may, give me a date and I'll check it. Try try a Wednesday for staff. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Well, four, and we're done. We're done okay. at five or five yeah. fifteen. We're not really in. <laughs> right. Uh, I can do. Uh, I'm looking at February. I can do the sixteenth. That's next week. That's next week. Uh, I can do sixteenth. Works for me, Bonnie. How about four o'clock. Four o'clock on the sixteenth. That works for me. Yeah. Great. Okay. Uh, recreation programs. Mm. I don't know. What do you guys think? No. I don't think so at this current okay. time. No. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, recreational facilities. Yes, because we had something planned for January, but we that's correct. postponed till now that's for David. Correct. That's correct. Facilities. Um, yeah, because we were doing, the, we were putting the the trails and then the recreation together, and uh, because of the w the weather, and then it didn't rain. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's okay, guys, when it didn't rain. Um. And you know what? Maybe we can combine those two again because it's the same people. Mm -hmm. What? Recreational facilities and trails development. Um, and wasn't that the purpose of meeting before? Cause, oh, I guess we were just going to go over s through some of the facilities to show. Mm -hmm. They get you know, Lyle and then look at our yeah, trails too. Right. But yeah. at that time, we Point. picked no major rush on it, but it would be oh. nice to do it any time. Mm. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, there really isn't a, a rush. So should we just postpone it? Maybe do it in April? Would April be good? Works for me. What, what do you I think, Lyle? Right now, I'll, I'll say April is good. Yeah, whatever works for you, Lyle, because it's really uh, for us to take you around to the different places mm -hmm. and for your benefit, so whatever you want to do. But are we going to have to do a weekend? You might have to give one, us your, one of your morning weekends. <laughs> I just looked at my calendar every yeah. weekend in April's booked. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so let, yeah, I mean, I'm looking for May as well, so just okay. bear with me a moment. Sure. Well, I tell you, I can't do May 14th. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I can't. Well, you know what? Should we just wait? Why don't we wait until next month? Get there. Oh. Yeah, we can wait. I okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Not pressing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seniors. Anytime. <laughs> You're filling up yes. the calendar. Yeah. Uh, Yes. Okay. Seniors. 
We could do it in March. Yeah, let's spread out into March. Yeah, that's great. And let's see who's on that. Steve. So should we do it? We should probably do it on a Wednesday since he's here. What? He's one of the few people that doesn't stay late on Wednesday. He'll work with you guys whatever you give him. Okay. Oh, he'll be here. Okay. Uh, well, the, the first week in March is is pretty good for, for me. We already have the first uh, right. of March as concerts in the park. Um, but second, third, fourth, we, uh, we close early. Uh, second, third is fine for me. Um, How about you, Renee? March 2nd is not good. Third? March 3rd. Or, um, uh, our next meeting is March 9th. Yeah. Do you want to meet before our meeting? No, it's not necessary. And on that week, we have a meeting on the 9th and on the 11th. And so, okay. uh, in, the, in the following week is our appointing. That would put it to the week of the 21st. That's a Wednesday? Or what the day? week of the 21st, which, okay. is, which is fairly wide open for me. Yeah, do you want to meet? Wednesday would be the 23rd. Yeah, do you want to meet March 23rd? Yeah. Okay. So what time? I'd have to do it um, right after 4, so like 4.15. Okay, and then um, you think you need to meet your teen services, Teresa and David, what do you think? I think it would be a good idea to meet since we don't really have anything going on right now. So the two new coordinators that we have coming on board are starting on the 22nd and one of them will be um, responsible for teen services and we're going to look to him to kind of champion that forward. So hmm. I don't know if you want to schedule that we'll for March or at yeah. we can do that at the we next meeting. Then. Okay. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. We'll Great. wait. Thank you. Um, and then that's it. Looks like it. Yep. It's a full calendar. Okay. You have all those down? Do I have to go over them all? <laughs> Thank you. And if not, she just plugged them all into her calendar <laughs> here because I, I've heard Karen doing that. Okay, thank you everybody for that. Um, commissioners, any commissioners have anything mm. to re report? No? Okay. Uh, staff, programs report. So I'd like to give a couple of new class updates. Um, we have Yummy Yoga, which started last Thursday. Um, she's giving two free classes prior to her session actually starting on the 18th. So last Thursday was the first one, and she, for her first class, I believe I was told she had about 11 people. Oh, that's good. Which is huge mm -hmm. to, for your first class. Um... And so there were some drop-ins. As of tonight, she had 10 people actually signed up for the entire session. Um, she still has one more free class to do tomorrow, and then her, uh, what is it, six weeks? Mm -hmm. Six-week session starts after that, and then she has two sessions ongoing after that. So um, it's going well. It's Thursday nights from 7 to 8 at the community center. Um, it's $82 for residents and 96 for non-residents. And that's with Val Cunningham. And it's part of the collective camp um, with Don David. So it's a spinoff of, it's a yoga version of that. Um, and then we also have um, Tahitian Dance, which started a few weeks ago um, up at Mission Blue. It's Mondays and Wednesdays. There, um, she does uh, a children's class from 7:15 to 8:15 for four to 12 year olds, and then 13 and up from 8:15 to 9:15. That class is, I've been told, it's absolutely amazing. They have live drumming, live music, 
um, and she gets about 20 people a class. Wow. wow, that's pretty good. Up at Mission Blue. That's pretty good. And the majority of the people are non-residents. <laughs> so we're trying to get it, you know, um, she might go do um, something at um, the after school program to get the interest going there in, you know, in town, but it's $45 for the month, it's two nights a week, and it's a $10 drop-in fee for residents. So everybody should go try it out. I've been told it's just great. Wonderful. I haven't made it up there myself. And, and what night is that? That's um, Mondays and Wednesdays. Monday and Wednesdays. Okay. From 7, well, the adults are from 8.15 to 9.15. And then I just wanted to reiterate the collective camp by Dawn David. Her next session starts on Monday. Um, her class typically gets 10 to 12 people each session, so and it starts at 6 a.m. in the morning, so she's doing Ooh. well. Mm -hmm. Where does she meet? Out at the park. Ooh. Yeah, they're outside. So rain or shine, they're out there. So that's what we have going on for the new um, class updates. Um, we are also holding one-day camps at the club rec now um, during school closures. The teachers do in-service days, and the school's closed, so we are now trying something new by opening up a one-day. It's like a camp. It's $28 for residents, $33 for non-residents, and you come and drop your child off at 8 and pick them up at 6, because most people are working. It's not a holiday for them. So um, the first one was a little slow, but we have one this Friday, and a uh, I think there's about 12 people signed up, 12 kids signed up for that one. So it's, there. people are starting to uh, know that it's happening more. Um, the other thing we have, um, the preschool enrollment, we, um, we upped it to 25 from 20. We've added more staff, so we were able to take a few more kids. So um, the max is at 25 now, and it's great all the people that are in there now that aren't going, the kids that aren't going to kinder care next year will be able to be a part of that program and not have to, they're already in it. So so we went from 20 to 25 and it seems to be going well. As I mentioned previously, we have a couple of new staff coming on board to fill the vacancies that were created this last year. So we're very excited to be fully staffed and up and running in a few weeks here. Um, Jeff Franco, will be responsible for aquatics, um, some indoor and outdoor facilities, enrichment classes, and a few special events. And Ricardo Monroy will take over youth and adult sports teams, fitness and sport contracts, and as well as some special events. So we're looking forward to bringing them on board, and hopefully we'll bring them either to yeah. the March or April commission meeting so that they can meet all of you. Yeah, that's what I was going to just ask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wanted to give you guys an update on the dog park. We heard from Public Works that they're going to be reseeding the dog park with a bluegrass mix that is more drought tolerant and durable than what's currently out there. Um, the expense for that is 17, just, just under $1,800. Um, it's covered in the current operating budget, so that's going to be happening shortly. Uh, dog park users also suggested converting about 1,000 square feet to a decomposed granite. Um, at the front and the end of the dog park where it gets most wear and tear, mm -hmm. which would also reduce the amount of watering required at the facility. The estimate for that is just under $14,000, and so that's something that we would like the Recreation Facilities Subcommittee to discuss at the next meeting, okay. um, whether or not they want to make a recommendation to council to approve that in the next fiscal budget. Can I ask what is decomposed granite? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of crushed. I think it's like a rock yeah. mixture. Yeah. Um, yeah. A gravel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So it's more it's durable for the, the amount of foot traffic that the, the entrances to the park get. So. And you said that's 14,000? It's 13,750. Wow. And how big is this? How it's about a thousand square, square feet total. How, how many square feet are they going to do? A thousand. Yeah. Well, it looks like crushed rock. So 500 on each end. Mm -hmm. He Googled it. It's yeah, I, I use some of that my when I put my flagstone compressed. Yeah. So. Did you see Matt? I yeah. guess we could be looking at, yeah. sorry, 
be looking at different types of materials. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a permeable mm -hmm. concrete or something like that is mm -hmm. a yeah. option. All right. Um, $15,000, huh? <laughs> what do they have to do? I mean, dig it and grade it? I'm just. Yeah, I don't know the specifics. Yeah. But we could find out from Public yeah. Works. And then when they do the seed, um, are they going to level some? Because I know that there's been in the ground where the have grass. I can form. find out. And where are the uh, dog people going to go while we're waiting for this grass to be? That's a great in? question. I mean, <laughs> the, the dog park will be closed yeah, while we're I mean, doing this, these repairs. We'll have to make an announcement formally to the community when that work is yeah. scheduled to begin and what other options are available to dog park users in the meantime. So. And, and you will post it at the dog yes. park so they will yes. know that. Okay. Yes. Great. Any other commissioners have any other questions? No. Okay. Um, I just have a couple other oh, quick yes. updates. Oh. Most just of you know about the dog park. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, most of you know that work has started at the skate park, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. So it's fenced off and it'll be closed through the spring. Um, with regards to summer camp, so we are scheduled to have our city-run summer camp start on June 20th and we'll run for about eight weeks. We have confirmed the Shakespeare camp to come in August uh, to Mission Blue, August 1st through the 12th. It's a two-week program. And then we're also, staff is working on securing other contractors for summer um, enrichment and contracted programs like the Minecraft camp. We had a suggestion from the community for that, as well as some other sport camps, potentially bringing back Lego camp. So we'll be working on that over the next few weeks um, to have all of that information published in this summer activity guide, which will come out the first week of April. And then last but not least, we have the next Live at Mission Blue concert. There's a plug for you, Kevin, um, <laughs> on the 27th, so coming up at, at Mission Blue. And then we have the Artist Evening of Sharing event scheduled for March 5th, also at Mission Blue. Okay, busy. Um, very good. Uh, commission Matters. Any, anyone have any Commission Matters? <laughs> no? Okay, any written communications? Uh, the only one I have and which you all got is your Park and Recreation mm -hmm. magazine here. <laughs> David. Here, yes, you can have mine. <laughs> okay, okay. So you can look through that. Um, isn't that conference coming up? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's March 8th through the 11th in Long Beach. Yeah. And nobody's going. No, I couldn't get off. Yeah. They, they do alternate each year, Northern California and Southern yeah. California. So next year it will be in Northern California. Yeah. It might be a little bit more accessible yeah. for each okay. of us. They usually do Sacramento. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so that was it. Um, commission calendar. Will you run through what? we're going to put? Well, all I have right now, so you <laughs> might want to help me, is um, budget, going over the budget specifics. Right. Um, that's pretty much all I have right now. What else are we going to do? Um, also oh, yes, we are oh. going to chain, do the changing, changing of, of the, the guard. guard. Yes. Yes. So we'll need uh, that. And then the other subcommittee reports, because we're having one. Right. Yeah, two. Three, at least, at least four people meeting. Right. Four groups. Yeah. Four subcommittees. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, four. Yeah. I mean, some other things might come up in between. Okay. Stuart might have something he wants to, but for now, those are the only two things that I can right. think of. Well, the budget always takes a little bit of time. And right. Does. You know. So, are we going to go through it step by step, I take it, like we did before? Yes. Okay. 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 Well, that looks like it's, it's done. So, we'll see you on March 9th, and I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 739.